Hello folks, it's uh, Cam from Reef Ball with another super beginner friendly marine reef keeping advice. Hashtag here to get you going. So folks, if you are taking a first step into the journey of reef keeping or marine fish keeping, then your road to ultimate success, the ultimate success which can be defined as a sparkling, clean, full of coral, super attractive marine reef tank, which will be the source of pleasure for you for many years to come and will be the envy of many. So the road to this ultimate success can be significantly shortened if you set up your journey on strong foundations. Guys, the sad reality of this hobby is the number of people going out of this hobby due to early failures are shocking. Just because their plans were based more on emotions and impulses rather than being based on sound study and thorough understanding of the art of reef keeping and knowing what is actually going on in their tanks. The strong foundations that I just discussed are many, but one of the most important start to any fish tank is to get that early filtration nitrogen cycle out of the way. Although there are tons and tons of content online on teaching people how to fish less cycle their first ever tank and all that weight that comes with it. But if any newcomer asked me about this phase, my reply would be short and blunt. I would just say, just do not attempt to cycle your tank on your own, please. Based on my experience, there is a good probability that impatience will get better of you and you will attempt to speed up that early cycling by buying some artificial bacterias or skip the stages of cycling just to get going with your tank. Even if you were patient enough in cycling your tank properly, then still you do not have actual reflection of how your filter will behave to different biological loads. There's a good chance that a newcomer would cycle his tank, get absolutely excited once it's cycled, pack up the tank with multiple fishes, only to later find out that the biological load was way too much for that filter to handle. Based on my experience a number of times, there's a good chance despite cycling their new filters properly, new fish keepers can end up with huge ammonia spikes or undesired bacterial blooms that can more often than not ruin the show completely. When this happens, many newcomers just straight jump out of the hobby, thinking this is way too difficult and this is just not for me. Based on my observation, people who like to keep fishes are generally very soft-hearted, compassionate people. The sort of people that if they get it wrong, they cannot bear the thinking that I am being responsible for death of that many fishes. And, and this self-guilt basically drives them out of the hobby immediately. But guys, the good news is there's a way you can skip all that anxiety and take huge jump start into starting a fabulous tank that will be a source of satisfaction for many years to come and the main attraction in your living room. So folks, my advice is instead of cycling your first ever tank on your own, go and get somebody else established ecosystem and place it within your tank. So for example, if you are starting a marine tank, then go and buy some cured, already established live rock. And if you are starting a tropical tank, then find a friend who already has an established mature tank and he is willing to share that established filter media with you. So if you do this, you are ensuring you are not only bringing those precious ammonia nitride eating bacterias, but also more importantly, you are bringing part of that ecosystem in your tank which has been established for years and years in your friend's tank already. This will not only allow you to add new fishes the same day and start enjoying your new tank from day one, but this will also give you a huge jump start in setting up that precious part of an established ecosystem within your tank. This will also ensure that you are skipping all those stressful and depressing stages new hobbyists usually go through and more often than not end up leaving the hobby altogether. Important to take note that when you do bring that filter media or live rock home, you must make sure that it remains submerged in water throughout the journey. And in the case of live rock, it should remain submerged in water with the matching salinity it was previously being kept in, or else those precious ammonia or nitride eating bacteria will die off. I always tell people in the hobby that I already know, that you got to care for those bacteria colonies like you care for your fishes. Because these bacteria will serve you throughout the life of your tank and will care for your fishes like no one can. 
So guys, here was my take on why brand new hobbyists should not attempt to cycle their first ever tank themselves. Feel free to get down in the comment section below and let me know what you think. But do make sure that never give up on your hobby and never give up on your dreams. Take care. Goodbye from Cam.